I definitely have way too many pen cases. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be talking about uh, an obscene amount of pen cases that I have. <laughs> I have had more in my day, believe it or not, uh, but I have sold some and yet this is still the amount that I have left. So I'm going to go real quick through what you actually see here and then I'm going to talk about the three that I primarily use and then we'll kind of wrap up from there. <laughs> so I have some singles. Uh, so this is the Leonardo uh, pen case. Single one here. This one, uh, I don't actually even remember to be fair what this one is. So if anyone knows, let me know because it's not branded and I can't remember <laughs> where it's from. Uh, then I have an Estherbrook one. I have, well, technically these are doubles, so I guess I'll, I'll leave those. Uh, and then I have a little kimono, uh, well, two kimonos that some Wancher pens came in. I'm gonna be real with you, I never use the kimonos. Pretty much ever. Uh, I find the little like knobby thing here to be a pain in the butt. Um, so just, I never, I never really use them. Why I still have them, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, these guys here, uh, I don't really use this one a ton. Um, it's kind of stiff and maybe that's why because I haven't used it a ton. Uh, out of the single ones, the Leonardo one is the one that I use the most often. Um, the Estherbrook I use from time to time, uh, but it is also a little bit stiff and it's kind of short. Uh, so I don't use this one too, too much, but I like the Leonardo one. I did have a, um, a, oh shoot, what's same brand as this. Let me open this up. I had a single, oh, Aston Leather. That's right. That's right. I had an Aston Leather single pen case. Um, that is this one that I liked quite a bit and I don't know where it is to be fair. Um, I really, I just don't know where it is. I know I had a whole bunch of them and I sold a couple. Um, so I don't know if maybe I sold the last one there too, but this is the single one I use most often. Out of all of my cases, the singles are the ones I use the least often. Um, and I think that's just because, well, I never really have just one pen inked up. <laughs> but out of my singles, this is the one that I use the most often. So I'm gonna put this one aside and we'll talk about that later as well. Then I have cases that will hold two pens. So I have two that are meant to hold two Quevecos um, and pretty much Quevecos only. Um, you can put one in there if you want, but it is a little roomy. Um, so it's meant to hold two Quevecos at the same time that just kind of goes side by side. Um, as you guys know, I'm obsessed with Kavecos. I love the way these feels. By the way, I've done reviews of all of these notebooks and stuff, or pen cases by themselves. So if you wanna see like super detailed on one unit in particular, check out my channel. These ones are super soft. I like them quite a bit. I really like this color um, and I'm obsessed with Kavecos. <laughs> so, um, but if you're not obsessed specifically with Kavecos, this may not be the greatest, uh, only because it really fits just Quevecos or similar sized pocket pens. Um, so for that reason, I'm gonna put these ones aside. Then I have two uh, rickshaw ones that are meant to hold two pens. This one uh, I bought just because it was super cute with all the doggies and kitties and whatnot. Um, and it came out with Retro 51 um, pens that like match the same. Uh, and they do fit the Retro 51 poppers exceptionally well which I mean it should because the brand is the same. So it is absolutely dynamite for these. Uh, they don't fit all of my fountain pens though. So I don't use this pen case that often for that reason, unless the pens I'm using are shorter um, because it's obviously meant to go with the Retro 51 ball points, but I don't take these around with me too, too much. So for that reason, I'm gonna put that aside as well. 
This one is the one that I use the most often uh, of all my doubles. Uh, and it's also from Rickshaw. This one is the one that they do with Goulet pens. Uh, this is sort of like their, their ink in water. Uh, and I use this one quite a bit. Uh, this is probably, to be fair, this is actually probably my most used, if not third most used, or third, second most used uh, pen case that I have. <laughs> so I'm going to put this one to the side. Okay, now we get into, well, I guess we might as well keep going up in, in pen number, uh, into ones that will hold three pens. So to continue pimping out Goulet pens and rickshaw, I have this uh, Goulet pens version. Uh, Drew Brown actually helped design this, little 80s synthscape there uh, from, oop, it's hard to, hard to show, from rickshaw. This is actually the one I'm using currently. Um, so that the, there's pens in there. I got a Bennu Euphoria, Bennu Talisman, and a Pilot Custom 912 in here. I love the purple on the inside. I love rickshaw cases, they're, they're phenomenal. Um, so this has three. Uh, this is probably now my most used uh, case, and this is my second most used case. Uh, but when I travel, I do like to use this one by Galen Leather. Uh, it is kind of a like a little wallet type pouch that will hold four pens. I know I said three, but I, I primarily only put four in here because, or sorry, primarily only put three in here because that way I have enough room to put whatever else I want in the case. Because this, I mean, this obviously you just take out and you can put wherever you want it. Um, and then you have like just sort of a pouch that you can put you know, cash, you can put some roller balls, you can put, you know, Kleenex, you can put whatever you want in here. Uh, so that's really handy. And the only reason why I primarily use it as three and not four is just so I've got a little bit more room because uh, I don't want it to be like, you know, super bulky uh, when I travel, but you can do whatever you want. The downside is obviously that it's leather, so it will mark up quite easily. So if you don't like that, this may not be the best for you, um, but oops, but it's really well built. Um, and it does kind of like change, change the look over time as you use it. Um, and I, I do like this one quite a bit. Uh, but for what I, I know this is, again, has four, but I use it for three. But I do prefer this one. So this one goes to the left. Then we get into uh, sort of ones that will hold a whole whack load. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of talk about them at one at a time. Uh, so this is the Aston Leather 10 pen case. So you can fit obviously 10 in here. I used to use this one. This is the one I've had the longest. Um, I used to hold this one, believe it or not, use this one, believe it or not, to have my entire pen collection in here. And I don't do that anymore because obviously I have way too many pens now. So I don't actually use this really at all. I thought about selling it. The reason why I haven't uh, is just simply because one day, I hope to pare down my collection to be able to fit it in something like this again. Uh, and I really like the, the build quality of this. Um, it's super stiff, super sturdy. Um, and if I had only 10 pens, this would definitely be what I would keep my pens in. Uh, I like that there's a nice squish on the outside. Um, my review of this is quite old now, so maybe I'll do a, a revisit of a years later type thing for it. <laughs> um, but this is certainly something that I don't really use very much, but the fact that I haven't let it go means that I do like it. Um, one that I don't use a ton, but really like, and this I'm is not really a pen case, so it, I'm kind of cheating with this, but I usually have a pen here. Um, and then in, actually where, oh yeah. Uh, and then there's a little pouch here. This is from Superior Labor. It's not technically a pen case, but it's what I keep all my D&D &D stuff in. Um, I've got the notebook, got my dice, got my character sheets. Uh, I usually have a Retro 51, <clears throat> excuse me, in there. That's the fire and dice version, but I have it in a different notebook right now. Uh, so I keep all my D&D &D stuff in there. Um, and then this one's kind of handy because you can literally take everything with you and 
just kind of zip it up. Uh, and it, it really only holds one pen there, but you can kind of put a couple more. Uh, but because it's not a formal pen case, I'm not going to uh, include it. And then we have two left. So we have this pen roll up, which is also um, from Rickshaw and Goulet pens, similar design as the you know water and ink. It's just a little bit lighter. Um, but this is their roll up. So you can fit six pens uh, in here, you kind of flip it down and then obviously you roll it up. Um, I used to use this one almost every day, well before I got these guys here. Um, if I had more pens inked up at one go um, and took them on the go rather than my desk, I would use this more frequently. Um, but I, I only really like to have three or four pens inked up at a time. Um, and because of that, I don't use this as much now that I have the other two options. But before I had those options, I used this one pretty much almost exclusively. And my goodness, their felt in here, you guys, is like the softest thing you'll ever feel, ever. Um, I really like this a lot. Um, I've thrown cheap pens in here, super expensive pens, and I feel safe with it every which way. So 10 out of 10, I do recommend this as well. Um, it's just not one in my go-to use every day. Whew, okay, so the last one. This is Monteverde's 48 pen case. We're gonna have to ooh, wiggle the camera here a little bit. Um, I don't really like this. I don't really use it. Uh, I store the pens that I'm going to sell in it uh, and that's about it. <laughs> Um, it's too big, it's too bulky. Um, I take this one to pen shows, again, for the pens I'm going to sell in it, um, but they basically just sit here until I do a posting and that's about it. Um, yeah, it's just a big old binder of pens <laughs> and has the flap in here uh, so that when you close it, it all fits and then there's a zip up. So do I really like this one? Not really, it's kind of big and bulky. It's like a whole flipping binder of pens. Uh, but I do use it and keep it just for the uh, pens I'm going to sell. So, oh my goodness gracious, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible, but yet still get in all the information. So if you're, if you're still following, uh, write down speed in the, in the comment section down below because my goodness, we're getting there. All right, so these are my favorite pen cases that I use the most often out of what I have. Um, I prefer just the individual sleeve style uh, rather than a formal like case um, because it's way easier to get pens in and out of something that's like a sleeve versus something that you have to unzip or unroll. Uh, but I think they all serve their purpose, but these are my favorites. So for singles, um, I do prefer ones that are a little bit looser. Uh, like I said, I've had the Aston leather. I really like that one too. Um, this one's not real leather. This one's just like a pleather, um, but I love, love, love the color. Um, it's a little stiffer than something like this that is made out of like a nylon type material, um, but I love it. These guys here um, are ones that I use probably even more than this. Um, and it's not necessarily because it's rickshaw. It just happens to be the brand that I really like uh, for this style. Um, and again, <laughs> they both happen to be from Goulet Pens. But again, that is not why. <laughs> it's just that I liked the finish of them. I liked the design choices. Uh, but rickshaw themselves makes like a million different design choices. So you don't have to get them from Goulet Pens. Uh, it's just where I did. So yeah. Disclaimer, I guess. <laughs> um, these two are the most often used. Um, this one uh, I just like because it's a two pen. And again, I try and keep only two, three or four pens inked up at a time. So sometimes if I do have five, I'll use both of these uh, and then they just kind of chill on my desk like this. Uh, I'm contemplating getting Rickshaw's um, pouch that's like sort of like a similar vibe to this. Um, but it was like designed to be able to fit quite literally both of uh, these or like two pen koozies uh, and then you kind of like put it in a bigger bigger thing there um, and it's sort of like again a similar idea even to this one where you can put like other things in it um, but I just have not pulled the trigger yet so 
That is a fast-paced whirlwind video of my favorite pen cases, but these are my top three. Let me know in the comment section down below what your top three are. Again, it doesn't have to be necessarily like the finish or whatever, but like, do you prefer singles, cases, zip ups, you know, roll ups, sleeves? Like, what are your top favorites? Let me know. Guys, I appreciate you. If you're still watching 15 minutes in, this is much longer than I was expecting. Holy smokes. But if you're still here this far in, then please consider liking and subscribing this video. Uh, new videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Tuesday. Uh, check out the Patreon account in the description if you want to help support me and what I do here and give me the ability to make more content. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, everybody, it's time again to thank the Patreon crew. I'm filming this as of September 12th, 2022. So if you don't see your name here, I do update these regularly. We have two ultimate humans, Mr. Daniel Roddy and Comp Dave. And for my VIP tier, we have Susan, McCall Bennett Lawrence, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Subiwan Kenobi, Catherine Molina, Weile Chang, Brian Law, Bill Pemberton, Lucas Bell, Robert Myers, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Digital Tent Tech, Brian Hunter, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Joan Worthman, Luna Wolf Games, Aaron C., and Glenn Kelly. Thank you, everyone who supports me, whether you're in the shout out tier or not. You all help make this dream possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And once again, I'll see you next time. Bye.